How are you doing good people? This is Sim here from the Fusing Shop and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a uh, cool space pendant. This pendant is pretty easy to make. It does not require a lot of skill and we're just going to go over the steps on how to do it. So my first step that I just did was I cleaned up the end of that rod to cut um, any crud off that was there. Now I'm just going to go in and gather up that glass. So just leave the tip of your rod in the fire and rotate, rotate, rotate. And just keep rotating that glass, keeping it in one spot, making sure the end is juicy hot and the glass will start to form a nice round ball when you get to the size you want. Take your smasher or whatever tool that you have to smash the glass and just make that lollipop shape. Again, there are different tools to do different to do the same job. Here I'm getting my silver fume ready and adjusting my flame. This way I get the fume to stick to the glass. Here you could start to see the, the flame change color when you put the, the silver in. And you see it turns that nice red kind of hue. And you have to be careful when you're fuming. You have to make sure you have good ventilation because you're vaporizing metal. And I'm just showing you what the fume looks like on the lollipop there. Um, so yeah, you need to have good ventilation because the last thing you want is to be breathing in this vaporized silver or gold or whatever you're using to fume with. So again, ventilation is very important. Make sure you have a good ventilation system that you've tested before you do any type of fume work. Uh, here I just attach a punty onto the end. And now my hands are blocking. Uh, but I'm heating up the uh, the lollipop now, and I'm sorry, have a very nice view of my hands here, and the paracord bracelet that my daughter made me, and uh, right now I twisted the glass and made it into a ball, and now you can finally see what I'm doing again, and uh, I'm just going to gather that back into a sphere shape, so I twisted up the fume so it makes kind of like a spiral in the glass. And now I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, melting it all together, getting rid of any of the uh, twist. And now it's one nice solid piece, so I'm just going to smush it flat on my marver. And make sure it's the size that you want it, because this is pretty much going to be the final um, pendant size. Uh, now I'm going in. And I'm putting some cobalt blue as a backer. You can see the fume much more clearly when you back it with a uh, nice solid color. And I like cobalt. It's easy to work with and you get really nice results with this color. So I'm just putting on a glob of it and I'm just going to press the rod in until I have enough glass to cover that back. And then I'm just going to melt it down and get some heat in there and fuse these two pieces together. Uh, use my marver to help speed the process along and help smush that cobalt into the clear. Again, just rotate in the flame, paddle it a little bit, help it flatten out. Paddle it again. And uh, I like to have the back be transparent, so I'm making a thin layer of cobalt on the black. This way you light will come through the pendant. Here I was going to attach my loop, but then I forgot I had to um, shape the lens first. So I'm going in with that cobalt rod. I'm going to make a cold seal onto the back of the pendant. This way, if uh, any rod gets stuck, it'll be the same color as the pendant. So it'll match very nicely if my cold seal does not break off clean. Okay, so now you're going to flame cut the end flame cut off your your rod your clear rod get that out of the way and now um, you just melt in that glass that was on the end and you melt it down into your pendant I had some bubbles so I took those out with my tweezers and then just keep putting that heat in and melting that back down and it will uh, melt back into a nice round shape <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, so it does take a little bit of time, 
and just let them use gravity, <clears throat> excuse me again, and just use gravity to your advantage here. And keep working that glass, it will round out, it does take patience and time, but you will come out with a nice beautiful lens on the front. And again, you want to keep any defects out of there, that might ruin your artwork. Okay, getting my tweezers ready, tweezing off some crud glass on the end there, making sure to use a nice clean rod. And this I'm going to make my loop or bail or um, whatever you call those things. Everyone has a different name for it. Okay, and just make sure you have a nice hot seal. Make your attachment, bend that glass around. And then you'll flame cut your rod off. And I'll just use my tweezers to uh, bend it around and attach it to the pendant to make a nice little tacked weld. There we go. And then lower my flame and uh, make this a nice hot seal. So get in there with that precision flame, heat up that, uh, that loop. Let the glass flow where it needs to flow. And make sure it's a strong connection to your pendant. Because this is the place most likely to break if this was to break. And again, just moving it a little bit with the reamer. And don't be afraid to condense these and uh, ream them back out to let that glass even out. Again, you want to have this be a nice strong seal and that looks pretty good and here's where you also straighten it out and just get it to where you want it make sure it's nice and straight make sure you round out both sides when you do this this way it gets a nice even size hole and that is what it's looking like so far. You can see that cool spiral in there. All right, now the last step is to detach the cold seal. So I just grab it with my tweezers and tap that cold seal off on the, on the torch. And if you do have any um, little uh, fragments or anything that break off with your cold seal, just go ahead and flame polish those off. It's always good to flame polish it just in case because there's always a little bit of glass left over and you'll feel it with your fingers if you don't fire polish. As you saw in the thumbnail, here is the finished piece. And you can kind of, and you can see where that fume is in that glass where it's makes that cool spiral. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.